Hey folks, Randy Newberg here, and I've been working with two of my great partners, uh, Onyx Maps and Leupold, over many years now, trying to explain the system I use for locating elk on public land. The number one reason that I and other hunters end up not filling our tag is we don't consistently find elk. And the biggest reason we don't find elk is because we've not studied and applied the system of how you find elk. I want to talk about just the overview of that system. And we're going to put a bunch of graphics up here on the screen so you can see it a little better through an illustration. But before we can talk about the five calendar periods, we have to talk about the four basic needs at elk have. Three are permanent needs, one's a temporary need. Those three basic permanent needs are food, water, and what I call sanctuary. And the fourth need is seasonal. It's the breeding need. It's that need at that time of year or in that calendar period that drives where the elk will be and where you will find them. Early season, as you're gonna see in a lot of these clips and a lot of this explanation, is mostly August. And I think when you look at this, you're going to understand that elk are in a far different area in August because of the need they have and because of how the landscape is producing the need they have than what you're going to see in late October or November. So watch this. Hopefully it gives you some information to think about. In this early season, you'll still see these elk, especially these bull elk, can still be bachelored up where you might find two, three, five, six bulls in one group. And where are you finding them? You're finding them where the best food is because they're trying to put on that last bit of fat before this really stressful period of the rut starts. And they're always gonna be near water because it's really hot. So when you're building a plan around a hunt that occurs in this early season period. Your top two priorities, priority 1A and 1B is food and water. Find their preferred food near some water and you are going to find bull elk on public land in the early season. Where, where can I go find food and water? Well, first of all, for food, you need to become a bit of an ecologist, a bit of a biologist. Do the research to find out what food elk prefer to eat at the time of year you're going to be there. Now, where are some general locations in August where you're going to find good abundance of high quality food and abundance of water? High alpine. It's cool and wet, right? You might go and scout elk in August and find them way up high. And then you come and hunt them in November. It's like, where'd they go? Well, they went somewhere else because... In August, that was prime habitat, but in November, it isn't. If you can find shade and water, and in my mind, I'm thinking of places like Nevada, Arizona, New Mexico, Utah, you find water, and the Onyx system is so helpful in this. The water sources show up as little blue dots. For me, if I'm hunting one of those places in a time when water is a primary need, I'm not hunting more than probably two or three miles from water. So as much as I talked about high alpine, there's also times in hot, dry areas where canyons have the same effect. They're cool, they're shaded, and a lot of times there's water that stays accumulated down in those canyons when it's dried out on the rest of the landscape. And as always, everything being equal, they'd prefer to be further from roads and trails than closer to roads and trails. Well, there you have it folks that's early season that's how you find elk in early season feed pattern the best food on the landscape the bulls are trying to get fat you go where their best food is and to find these food sources it's different across the elk landscape there's a lot of resources out there you can go to uh, i read a lot of scientific reports i read a lot of range analysis uh, and uh, environmental assessments about domestic grazing and how that affects livestock in that area because it's quite different in each location where elk exists. So hopefully 
this goes back to what we always say. To tag an elk, you gotta find an elk. And to find an elk, you gotta know what their need is at the time you're hunting them. And in this early season period, it's food. Next video, we're gonna talk about pre-rut. And uh, that's a pretty dynamic time of, of the elk calendar. A lot of change in a very short period of time. Thanks for watching.